Well, hey guys, welcome to Bonding Soul. Okay, so on the table here, I've got, kind of got an array of bows over here and you're wondering why do I have all these bows out right now? Well, this video was gonna be kind of a follow-up to the last video I did, which was about um, me trying to do a little more instinctive or more fluid style shooting, right? Um, in that video, if you remember, I, was, I said I was kind of kind of fed up with uh, waiting at full draw or like coming coming to anchor and then not being able to expand like the pull, 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 that extra quarter inch or whatever. And I was getting target panic and I was just pulling my shots. I was starting to shake, that kind of stuff. Plus it's too long. It's too long in a hunting situation. I want to be able to do it faster, a little more fluid. And I thought, well, if I try it and if it actually works for me and I'm getting the same level of consistency and accuracy and that kind of thing, um, then why not? Why not try it? Right? So, and it seems to be working. It seems to be working really great. I know it's kind of the honeymoon phase still, right? It is every time you switch up a bow, arrow, anything, it's always a honeymoon phase, right? Style of shooting. But what's happening is I'm finding that I'm getting the same level of accuracy, uh, you know, at the hunting ranges that I do, you know, let's just say like 10, 15 yards, something like that, 13 yards but I'm also getting the shot off quicker and it just feels more natural. Um, I'm not saying I got it perfected or by any means. I'm still getting, I still have target panic, right? I got target panic for, you know, coming, you know, for me right now, it's like touching the corner of my mouth, right? Sometimes you'll see me, you know, if I shoot today, well, I'm gonna shoot today, you'll see me like maybe not completely come to anchor. That's what I'm working on. But right now it is working better for me, accuracy wise and all that stuff, as good as the whole draw, hold, and just wait, 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 wait. And, I, and I'll, I'll, I'll keep saying like, like pull, 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 pull. When I'm really collapse, 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 right? It's not working. So anyway, now a few of the things, <clears throat> uh, that bow, uh, the bow that I was using, I think in that video was my Pacific stick. Well, I've got the Mushin stick here. It's got a new paint job on it, by the way. I didn't do that great a job on it. I'm kind of, kind of bummed about that, but um, I'm, I did it black and gray here. But anyway, um, so I got the Mushin. I've got my elk heart and I've got the, uh, this Browning Explorer one that I see me, uh, do videos on now in that video, I think you saw me, uh, say that I was going to actually go put a clicker back on this bow on the elk heart. Well, I did, I did for about a day and I'm like, no, forget it. It's, it's, it's not working. I'm actually shooting the same style method, whatever with this as I am with, um, with those other bows. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to do basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do the same thing. I'm going to sit down here. I'm going to try and do the same thing with, uh, with, with every one of these. Now with this bow, what it's done for me is it's allowed me to actually, because it's a more fluid style, because I'm actually concentrating on a spot and I'm just like focused and I'm pulling, pulling, pulling. When it feels right, I just let it go. I'm not saying that I'm coming to full anchor. I'm not saying that I'm a thousand percent, you know, ex exact same draw length every single time. That's something I'm working on. I'm not saying that I don't want to do that. But what this is allowing me to do, which is kind of cool, is it's actually allowed me a wider range of arrow tunes because going from a bow that's like this to like this to like this, if it's canted, right? Oh. That's what happens when you're on one of these little stupid tripod things. All right, so going from like, we've got sun glare here. Let's do this. The tune, right? I think in that video saying the tune from this to this to this is completely different. So if you're going to get an absolutely quote unquote perfect tune with something, it's not necessarily going to be perfect in all situations. And I think, and I've said this before, I firmly believe that the guys, you know, who are like full on instinctive and like old school ASL guys, you know, um, where I said, you know, they, the, their body kind of naturally it comp compensates for, uh, um, you know, an arrow that might be flying a little bit to the left or, or they would naturally fly one way or another, but they just kind of make it go where they're looking. Well, that's, that's kind of what's going on. That's, that's what your body does. Your body and your brain is amazing at that. It's an incredible computer. So you just have to, but you still have to do the, the physical part of it where you're coming to anchor it a certain way and you still have to hold the bow a certain way. You can't be torquing it and do anything weird, but the, the basically you're, it's, it's like, I call it almost, um, it's not active guidance, but I mean, it, but it's active uh, computations all the way up until the point of release, okay? Rather than this more, you know, come, hold, 
and then pull, 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 pull. And, th th and that was where I was wasting too much time. So uh, this way it's just kind of active, 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 and then let it go, and, and, and it goes. If that makes any sense to you guys at all, I'm not sure if it does. So I'm gonna set you guys up over here uh, on that over there. I think I hear some turkeys clucking in the background there. Um, I'm gonna set you guys up over there and I'm gonna shoot at some targets uh, over here and I'm just gonna demonstrate the different bows, okay? Yeah, there are some hens clucking over there. This place is loaded with turkeys. I wish I could hunt here. All right, I'm gonna set you up. All right, guys, so I got this Browning Explorer 1 with these wood arrows that I haven't been able to shoot at anything in the last year and a half, right? But I'm making it work out of this one, okay? Here we go. See it? All right, so we got the Mushin stick here. This is a 52 at 27, okay? This is kind of the powerhouse, right? This thing is a, it's a bad mamma jamma of a bow here. Not even close to coming corner of the mouth, but this is a heavier bow. And I actually get, if I shoot this bow a lot, I get tennis elbow. Don't call me a sissy. I can pull the weight, but I get severe tennis elbow. With any bow, it seems like it's, it's over like, you know, 49, 50 pounds, uh, which really sucks because I like shooting this thing, um, but I, I can't shoot it all that much um, because because of that weight. The next day I get just, just inflamed. Feels like there's like ice picks digging into my elbow. Not good. Okay, here we go. Totally short drawing on those. I'm basically letting them go and I'm starting to feel pain in my shoulder, which pro or my elbow, which probably means I should probably stop shooting, but I'm too stupid. Oh, I plucked that one. Don't mind that one. See me short drawing on those for sure. Okay, that's where it started to hurt. I probably only got to maybe 26 inches on that one. Okay, me at 25 maybe, but okay, that's a thousand percent just looking where I want to hit. I'm not worried about the. Uh, I mean, I, I still I still see the arrow tip. I still see the arrow tip. But I've gotten to the point where I'm concentrating less and less on that, and I don't care about that, and I'm not caring about... Uh, that sounds bad. Of course I care if I want to come to full draw. I'm not saying half acid, But I'm making the shots work. So I'm more, concent I'm more focused. I care more right now in my development of this, personally, mentally, of the place that I want to hit, rather than, did I get the full anchor? Did I get the expansion? Did I get the feather to nose? All that stuff... I put it out of my brain, it's gone, and I'm shooting like that, okay? Granted, this is only, that's like 12 yards. Okay. Got to walk in on this one. This was actually good, even though they flew kind of stiff because I didn't come full, full, full draw. But here we go. That was uh, that's at 13 yards. Okay, you keep going. That was a flyer. The other two are almost touching.
So I got three touching there and one. That was a stupid pluck by me. Obviously, there's the pluck. These two, pretty damn nice. That's uh, That was 13 yards. It's all within less than a fist there. Way in front of my face, but hit where I was looking. So, again, I short drew on those, get to the point where it feels <laughs> sharp pain in my shoulder and I, or my elbow and I stop. But that's, again, 13 yards. There we go. Touching. Okay. Did not come touch corner to nose, uh, corner, uh, corner to mouth. But those are all within here. I don't know if you can see that. Come on. Come on. The entire time I know they're gonna hit where I want them to. That's the beauty part of this. I do see the arrow. I'm not saying I don't, but I, I know that it's coming back in a linear fashion. And I know that even if I'm short drawing, because at this point it hurts when I pull the full 52 on this thing, I know they're still gonna go straight. And with the cant of the bow, they're not doing anything left and right weird. They're just going right down the pipe. I love watching that arrow fly. Really? That's just, this is it. I mean, this, this bow shoots so well. Gotta love, gotta love a St. Patrick Lake. Eric knows how to build a bow. But look at that again. Right? I mean, I'm, I'm short drawing, which means they're a little bit stiff. But that's 13 yards, okay? So anyway, to wrap up, what I wanted to do with this is, you know, if you guys can think it's, it's silly. I appreciate the comments, by the way. The last video I made, I was expecting a lot worse comments to come from that. So I can put you on here, maybe, so you don't fall over. Nah, you won't. This tripod thing is weird. So anyway, um, the comments were, were great. I appreciate that. A lot of people were like, oh yeah, you know, that's how I do it. And there's more than one way. So, I mean, if you're new starting out, should you do this way? I don't know, maybe. 
you know, I'm still going to link the courses for the push below, right? They got, they got great courses down there. You got, it, it'll teach you good alignment, um, teach you good everything. It'll teach you form, um, different ways to shoot. But if you've been at this a while, and like I said, I've been, this is like six, seven, eight years for me right now. And so it feels like I'm kind of starting over where I've tried all everything else. And, you know, all the Joel Turner courses in the world, maybe like don't work for you. And I know he says it doesn't work for you. You work for it. But say you've tried all this stuff. So you've done all this stuff. It's still not working switch it up it's okay to switch it up okay this i'm not saying it's magic right there's actual ballistics science math and making this do what it does and do bendy things and hit down range you know i mean there's science behind it we know that but and i'm not saying don't chase the perfect form don't try to chase the perfect setup i'm not saying don't do that but if you can't and if you tried it's okay to do something different and get within what you feel to be an, an ethical shooting range for the for the for the accuracy and the flight of the arrow that you that you want and go hunting if it's 10 yards it's 10 yards if it's 15 yards it's 15 yards 15 is a stretch for me at this point shooting this way that's it so if you like this video please like share and subscribe i really appreciate you guys uh, commenting on on everything down there i really do appreciate it go check out those courses go check out hiko ito knives um uh just fantastic knife maker just awesome um i can't wait to get it in the field with that again and hopefully use it on another animal uh again um just just beautiful stuff and super super great guy and and you know, we should support people who support traditional archery so go check out all the links below and uh happy shooting right now it's uh end of june so we got a couple months left here and i'm so excited for september um i just can't wait i'm just i'm just 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 Wait, waiting, waiting for the summer to be over. So anyway, thanks guys. Thanks for watching.